restless from the searching Little, little worn down between Like a bull chasing a matador Is a man after his old schemes Everybody needs someone beside him Shining like a lighthouse from the sea oh, Brother, let me be your shelter Never leave you Face down in the desert now There's a cage locked around my heart I found a way to drop the keys Where my failures were Now my hands can't reach that far I ain't made for a rivalry I can never take the world alone I know that in my weakness I am strong Cause it's your love that brings me home Pennsylvania. My name is Dan Saad, and you just heard from Jordan Buckwalter, our worship leader, singing for us today. We're both from LCBC Church in Ephrata, and I just hope you're having a great day so far. Uh, personally, uh, in this season lately, I've been thinking about my prayer life, and not whether or not I pray or necessarily how I pray, but mostly about where my heart is when I pray and when I'm talking to God. And that has caused some some new learning and, and some new passages to jump out at me. Uh, and one of those is Colossians 4, verses 2 to 4, where the Apostle Paul wrote this. He said, Devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. Pray for us, too, that God will give us many opportunities to speak about his mysterious plan concerning Christ. That is why I am here in chains. Pray that I will proclaim this message as clearly as I should. Now, there are a lot of interesting parts of Paul's story, but one of the things I find most interesting is that many of his letters were written while he was in prison, when he was literally chained to a Roman soldier who was guarding him, and he wasn't going anywhere for a while. And I know if I were Paul, I would probably waste my energy complaining, whining about the injustice of the whole situation, maybe even trying to escape or lie my way out of it. But Paul doesn't do any of that. And uh, in, in this book and in others, he just shares about why we should be thankful to, uh, for the reason that God has blessed us, why we shouldn't worry, but we should just pray. And, and in this case, why we should stay alert and look for opportunities to share about Jesus. And I hope we all can take a cue from Paul that uh, whatever personal prison that you're in right now, whether it's just having to stay home or something even more personal, working in your life, that, that God uh, sees that and he wants you to work through that. So let's pray that way together. 
Father God, thank you so much just for all of the reasons that, that you have given us uh, to be grateful in our lives. I pray that we will say thank you to you, that we will recognize those things and, and not waste our energy whining or looking for more, but just being content with what you've given us, God. Um, I also pray that you just give us an alert mind to see every opportunity to share about the good news of Jesus. And we just say thank you for this day, and we devote it to you. And pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen.